Software Spring Presence How to use Lookup in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to the tutorial on the Lookup function. Here's an introduction to Lookup. Lookup search is only one row, or column, for the specified search key. Lookup may return the approximate search key, or its corresponding value. Lookup returns the exact search key, or its corresponding value. Lookup requires sorted data, in the search range. Alright, here is the format of the Lookup function. Here is an example. Search key is the value you want to search, in a row or column. Search range is the first row, or column, to search for the search key. What is the search result array? It is the search range, and the result range, combined into one. We will work on examples in a little while, one of which will illustrate the search result array. Result range is optional, and is the single row, or column, from which the lookup function returns the data, corresponding to the search key. Note that you can use either the search result array, or the result range, but not both. Moving forward, let's work on two lookup function examples. Example 1. Get approximate search key. Get exact search key, and its corresponding value. First, I will create a table to enter the search key, the formula, and store the output returned by lookup. This step is optional. However, it helps to simply change the search key, and instantly get the output. Note that in this column, the data is sorted, as required by the lookup function. Ok, I will type 330 test score, as the search key. This value is not in the search range. So, let's see if lookup will return an approximate match. Now, let's type the formula. First, type equal to, L, O, O. Select lookup from the menu. For the search key, click this cell. Type comma. For the search range, click this cell, and shift click this cell. Because we want only the search key to be returned, we will not include the result range attribute, in the function. Press enter. Yes, the function has returned an approximate value, from the search range, because 330 is not in the search range. Now, I will type 400, for the search key, and also get its corresponding value. That is, the fee discount for a test score of 400. In this cell, I will type the lookup formula again, and this time we will include the result range attribute. Alright, Lookup has found the exact search key, and returned it, and its corresponding value. Example 2. Combine search range, and result range, into one range. If you combine the search and result range into one, then you should not use the result range attribute. Alright, let's work on this example. First, type the search key as, say, balance sheet. Let me type the lookup formula in this cell, without using the result range attribute. In this cell, I will type the lookup formula again, using the search result array. For the search result array, click this cell, and shift click this cell. Press enter. There you go. 
the lookup function has returned the result. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.